What what is happening? I I don't quite understand. Okay, we need Mowgli. You need to be getting onto full time cooking, like mad. We, all this food's going to waste for some reason. I have no clue why. Honestly, I have no clue why. No. One heat wave is enough to push us over the edge. No. 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 Cook while you still can. Until your legs fail and give out. <sighs> Why? What happened? Mm. Blocked by poplar tree. Would some of you motherfuckers like to deal with this fucking poplar tree? Resource below is steel. That... Well, you know, uranium exists. It's just one of the rarest resources in this side of the state. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, <laughs> Torture Red. It's engraved with an image of the minor celebrity Sly. The image somehow expresses both suffering and family. In addition to that, there is a bush far from the main subject. There is a bush. On a minigun. Quite creative, Clara. What type of bush are we talking about in the context of, you know, ce young celebrities? Oh, no. Uh, clear prioritised work. Good. Mowgli. I'm, I'm glad. Yakata. Sorry, I've been playing a bit of Sekiro. Uh, link in the description. So if I sound like a the world's worst weeb, it's probably because I am. Oh, Jet. You mastermind. Drug lab. Add a bill. Medicine. It's just medicine. Mm -hmm. It's just medicine. That is the song Medicine by Daughter. I, I added that in at the end there so I wouldn't get copyright struck. With my, uh. Because my rendition of it was so perfect, right? Except it wasn't. It was, I'm so sorry, daughter, for misappropriating your song for my terrible voice. Forgive me. It, I've, it's just come to mind. Like, wouldn't it be awkward to say, I find daughter attractive? So, oh, you do? Okay, did you have to tell me? So, oh no, no, Daughter of the Band. Ah, that, there's a band called Daughter. Yeah. I'm sure that's happened at least once to someone. Blight. Oh shit. Oh my god, no, not all my crops. Oh, oh, I suppose we can do some story time while we wait for this this event to occur. So you know how there are these bots that kind of get online onto these social media platforms to attract the desperate and the lonely to give them their credit cards? You know, the I'm sure you've had it before, some of you at least, where someone's contacted you just saying, Hey. And it's someone online whose name is like Bloop Bloop the third XX Gamer Girl um, Trust me, I'm human 22, that's a classic uh, This is not a scam 44, those types of names that come with these uh, these bots and as soon as you give them attention as soon as you say hello, uh, sorry, do I know you? They, they take it as an invitation They're like, oh, hey there I don't know you too well, but maybe you'd like to get to know me better. I'm a 22-year-old girl. Um, yeah. Need to know more? Well, credit card details here, please. That's the basic scam that every single one of them runs. They want you to come to their, their CAM website or something like that and steal your money. 
get you to sign a, a Google contract to sell your children to Rumpelstiltskin. So there's one Skype bot um, whose first name is Kenya. It's as much as you're getting. Contacts me and says hello. I don't know what it was about this one, but I just thought, y you know what, man, whatever, I'll, I'll talk. I've got plenty of free time, I'm a fucking art student, so why not have some fun? So I said, oh, hello there. Oh, I'm a 22-year-old female. Uh, I'm all alone right now. Want to know what I'm wearing? I thought, oh, yeah, okay. So we, I chatted with her for a bit, but just weird shit. I wanted to get rid of her in, in the best way possible, so I started to, to try to scare her off. I said, uh, I said to her, I think my exact words were, I have a huge penis. I'm waving my penis right now. It, I've just knocked down my house because I was waving my penis. You, you have to pay for it now. Stuff like that. Just bizarre. But then... I thought that was it. She gave me her credit card details, ignored me completely because she was just on her her usual. She was just on a usual circuit, getting to to talk to just about anyone she could um, sell her soul to. If it was a she, I believe it was a robot because it had this predetermined pattern, and no matter what you said to it, it just kept going. It always, in spite of everything, you could say. I'm coming to your house, and then state their address, and they would say, Oh, really? Well, you want to see my cam show? So, uh, I'm quite certain it was a robot. But then the next day, it contacted me again. I, I thought, oh, that's a bit weird. I thought it was a robot. She's contacting me again. Alright, I'll, I'll humor her. So, I, I continued in the, the, ne the usual fashion for the next time telling her some really bizarre and insane shit. She still kept talking to me. And then the next day, she talked to me again. By this point, it was... I think it was... The possibility was there that it was a human being. It just wanted to talk to me all the time. So, I thought... Maybe I'll test it to see if this is a real person. I, uh... I may have insulted it slightly. Uh, and I said something along the lines of, you do well in the yard. And then this Skype bot tells me, oh, with that hair, you'd be, you'd do well in the yard too. I thought, oh my, where'd that zinger come out of? And I said that to her, I said, what? To her, the robot, are you alive? Are you a sentient human being? Can I talk to you? Talked. Because I'm, I'm online, I'm ineloquent there. I saw a glimmer of humanity in her when she sparked up and, you know, insulted me. I thought, oh my... She's alive! I tried to prompt the response, and every once in a while, I would get something. Um, when I mentioned having a, a huge penis, I think she said, Oh, really? I'd like to see it. And I thought, oh. And she sent... This is where it kind of broke the camel's back. So she sends me this photo of herself. And she's a real human being. I, at least I think. I mean, they could have found the picture online or or something like that. At, at which point, I just felt bad. Because I'd been, you know, insulting her, uh, belittling her, berating her, just trying to get a rise, you know. I just wanted her to fuck off. She, because she was harassing me, and, you know... And she was a Skype bot. Were, she, was, she wasn't She was real at that point. I didn't realise. Oh my god. I've, I've told her the weirdest shit and she must think I'm an insane psychopath. But then she continues with her routine. Is she a robot? Is she not a robot? Is she human? Is she not human? I told her that I was going to commit adultery with her on these other Skype bot prostitutes that had been contacting me. We started talking to them, but not as successful. Kenya was by far my... the best victim. Not victim. Um, the, 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 the most recipient of all of the Skype bots that I talked to. And I told her, oh, I'm gonna give you up for another Skype bot. Nothing. Continued to talk as if she were a robot. 
just kept talking and talking. She changed her, her code a little bit, so rather than the usual cadence that she adopted, she'd sometimes mix up what she was saying, like she moved on to, oh, I'm wet. And I said, oh, have you, have you been for a swim? She said, oh, I'm not wearing anything right now. And I said, I'm wearing a tinfoil hat. You know, that kind of thing, fucking with her big style. And then I told her that I was going to marry her in Nigeria. And that was it. That was it. That was all I had to say, apparently, that whole time. Because as soon as I said that, she disappeared. No more contacts, no more messages, nothing. To this day, it's been silent from this Skype bot. So, if you're ever contacted by a Skype prostitute or bot that elicit, solicits your uh, credit card details, all you need to do is offer to marry at Nigeria. Leave you alone just like that.